In this lesson, we are going to use a WinCC Unified Faceplate with the Tag Parameter feature for indirect addressing. In the Program Blocks folder, I have my FanDB, so I'm going to open that up. The last element is the Fan Array. It is an array of two elements of the Fan Data Type. So if I expand out my array, I can see my two elements, and then each element consists of a name, start, and speed element of the string, bool, and int data types. That is based off of the fan data type that is found in the PLC data types folder in the project tree. So here you can see the name, start, speed of the data types string, bool, and int. I'm going to go down to my HMI, and I'm going to open up my UDT tags tag table. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my fan DB with a single click. In the details view, then you can see the fan array is down here. What I'm going to do is drag the fan array into my UDT tags tag table. This will create my HMI tag with the two indexed elements, index 0, index 1, of the fan data type. In my HMI, I'm going to go down to my screens, and I'm going to open up my FP tag parameter screen. On this screen, I have an I.O. field that is assigned to an integer tag that's called index, and that's going to be used to select which index element we want to work with from our fan array. I'm going to select my Libraries tab. From the previous lesson, I have the FP underscore PLC data type faceplate that was created. What I'm going to do is I am going to drag in an instance of this data type, just one instance, and then we're going to use the index tag to dynamically select which element of the fan array that we want to work with. I'm going to go down to the properties in the miscellaneous area, locate interface, and here is the fan element. And that's looking for you know, a structured tag of the fan data type. So I'll select None, and I will pick Tag Parameter. I'm going to minimize the Libraries tab. In the Dynamic Tag Name field, this is where I can browse for tags. So I'm going to go into the UDT tags and select my fan array. And I'm just going to pick one element. doesn't matter which one I pick at this point because I'm just using it for the syntax. So I'll just pick the first element in the array. So this brings in the element fan db, fan array, and then the first indexed element. So I'm going to backspace over the quote, the single quote at the end, and the single quote at the beginning. Then I'm going to highlight the zero. I'm going to browse for my index tag. That is going to be in my default tag table. And I will select the index tag. Get rid of the zero. This is the dynamic tag. Based on the index value, we will be able to select which element in the fan array that we would like to work with. So I'm going to select my HMI, start my simulation. I will select my tag parameter screen, and then I'm going to go into my project tree for the PLC. I'm going to open up my fan DB. I'm going to start monitoring. And I can look at the individual values. So I'll bring up my runtime. So right now the index value is 0. So if I type in a speed value, I'll type in 10. That is going to show up in the first element of the array. I can toggle my fan 
status. So now the start value is true. I'll change my index from 0 to 1. So now it's going to look at the second element in the fan array. For the speed here, I'll put in 20. And that's going to go into the second element of the array and at the speed value. Can toggle the status. So now I'll change my index back to 0. Toggle the first fan element off. So with the tag parameter feature, you can indirectly address elements that are being passed into the faceplate. In this lesson, we used a WinCC Unified faceplate with the tag parameter feature.